Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that traps heat. We can understand the greenhouse effect in three easy steps. First, greenhouse gases allow visible light, sunlight, to travel freely to the Earth's surface. Second, the Earth is warmed by sunlight and glows with infrared heat. Third, this infrared heat radiates from the Earth's surface, but greenhouse gases trap the heat, stopping it from escaping to space. This is how the greenhouse effect warms the Earth. It lets sunlight in, then traps heat on the way out. The warming effect of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide has been confirmed by many lines of evidence. Aircraft and satellites measure less heat escaping to space at the exact wavelengths that carbon dioxide absorbs energy. The greenhouse effect is a measured fact. Nevertheless, cranky uncles reject even basic physics like the greenhouse effect. One cranky argument is that carbon dioxide, or CO2, is a small percentage, 0.04% of the atmosphere, so it can't have a significant effect. This is a red herring, an irrelevant point designed to distract. We all know from everyday life that small amounts of an active substance can have a strong effect, whether it be a drop of arsenic in a glass of water, or a fraction of a percent of alcohol in our bloodstream. Once again, the fact is that the greenhouse effect is an observed, well, fact. The myth is that carbon dioxide cannot have a strong effect because it's a trace gas. The fallacy is red herring. The fact that carbon dioxide is a trace gas is irrelevant as we know small amounts of an active substance can have a strong effect. 